Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my Age of Empires channel, Ezosu Empires. Thank you very much for being here, your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions, a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. So today, as you can see, we are talking about the Ottomans. I want to bring the attention and my thoughts to the one of one of the two new civilizations of Age of Empires 4. So, and I also want to uh, know what you think about the Ottomans in the comments down below. Okay, so in my opinion, I think all Ottomans are a very, very strong civilization. I, I wouldn't say S tier, but I'll say infinitely A, A plus tier. And I think they are great. And why they are great? Because of their military power, okay, which is not just strong, okay, it's also cheap and efficient because you have unique buildings called the military schools which can produce units for free the only thing it costs its time and then any military building built in a radius of a blacksmith building will produce faster and you can increase the, the production speed of your military schools by using a technology that uh, that can be uh, unlocked using the vizier points which you get from producing units you know what i'm saying so it all accumulates for you producing units and getting better ways and faster ways and more efficient ways to produce even more units all right and then not only that they also have one of the best landmarks in the game the berry landmark the uh, twin midrette something I, I always forget that last part which gives you not only berries but a faster collection rate on those berries and they spawn super fast as well so the berries respawn and fast and you can collect them faster to keep up okay to keep to really keep up the flow of units because your military schools cannot do everything by themselves they are there they are meant to help you transit to a new type of formation or to start to create a mass of a certain unit so the other buildings plus the military school is the real power of the ottomans okay then uh, the other landmark which you can choose when you go to the third age it's not one of the best or no it's not the best but it's one of the best landmarks in the game as well which is the Mehmed imperial academy it works like a, like a military school it produces units for free but it's siege okay so especially in late game scenarios or maps where there is not a lot of wood or gold that landmark is so much valuable all right and not only that not only that okay it's also the flexibility of ottomans because you can play in one tc you can play two tcs you can play one tc rush you can play two tcs third age you can go for a mass of archers with the method which is the method is another thing the method is a unit it doesn't attack but it's also unique to the mongols not to the mongols to the ottomans but it, it give great buff if you get it from using your vizier points it gives 15 percent movement movement speed to everybody in formation though and by default it can give one of the buffs for 30 seconds i'm not sure which is the attack speed buff def uh, ranged armor buff and melee armor buff as well so that plus a big army that some of that army doesn't even cost you anything right can just snowball a game all right and that flexibility allows them to be good in almost every single map they will not win in every single map but it's easier it's really easier to win with ottomans because it uh, their system the way that they are played it helps you like if you are attacking it snowballs your attack if you are defending even if you don't have a lot of economy even if your economy was idling or destroyed you can still pump out units and help you defend or push you might pushing and you have knights or horsemen in your base killing your villagers or idling them you don't need food you don't need wood to pump out some units to help your push you know what i'm saying and not only that you can reinvest those resources into siege into your normal buildings okay and this leads us to our basically the final point to the conclusion of my thoughts about the ottomans and remember i want to know your comments i know to your opinion i know to i know 
I want to know your opinions about the Ottoman civilization on Age of Empires 4. And my final thought is they are very, very good, but not on water maps. And actually, funny enough, this match that we are watching right now on the background was a match of my Twitch livestream. So go ahead and follow me, guys, on Twitch and watch me play. I won this match actually on water, but I think it's a it's harder for Ottomans. Or you you can use them as you can on the other maps with with just that military power because they get too stretched and they get too stretched on the wood, right? Because think about it. As Ottomans, you all you always want to build military schools, and you need wood and stone. So you need to send some villagers to stone, less villagers gathering any other resource. But but that's not that's not even the most important part. The most the most important part is wood for military schools, right? Then water maps, wood for dock, wood for boats, wood for boats that fish and fight, right? Then the military schools do not work. Uh, sufficiently by themselves okay so you, you need to build the blacksmith you need to build the the archery range the barracks or the stable whatever right and that's a lot of wood that's a lot of wood that you need to invest in other areas that in on land maps or non-hybrid maps you only invest into units later on right so but you but you might say but so Ottomans get their military buildings with a discount. Even the dogs, the dogs cost less. I know, but it, it, still it's not enough because you have to remember, you have HRE, 40% bonus on collection of every resource. China with imperial supervisors. Rus, they get 40% more wood if the, the lumber cap is near a wooden fortress, right? And Ottomans does not have that. Ottomans do not have any special bonus that makes the wood more wood or faster or better in general the wood gathering so when you have this civilization that wants to pump all the resources into military infrastructure and military units and you can't do it on water okay you can translate any of those resources you can translate any of that momentum into water okay and eventually you need to defend water you need some military ships on the water right so it will be cool i don't know if it will be balanced i don't know if it will be fair okay but it will be cool if we had maybe just one access to one military school that was on water that was efficient because i tried the boat you you can transform the grand galley into a military school but it's super slow and it's the boat one demo ship or two it's out if the boat is taken out, the the units are taken out as well. And you're not producing men at arms or spear or you're not you, you are producing men at arms or, or spears. You're not pro you're not producing boats. So what I would like to see to make Ottomans a bit more viable on water maps, because I've seen this at the pro level, at the Red Bull Wololo Legacy Great Event, finished off today as I'm recording. We've seen Kaposh and Kazva going for Ottomans on Boulder Bay and it didn't work. And their mindset, at least from Kaposh, was that all oh, Ottomans get things for, for, for military buildings for less wood. And I'm like, yes, but that's not enough. Because you're already using so much wood without water, without claiming your presence on water, and now you have to claim your presence on water. So I think just Ottomans get too too stretched on water maps when it comes to wood, and all your bonuses do not apply on water. Yes, you get your dogs cheaper, but a bus it get them cheaper. In what I'm saying, so I think one military school that can produce boats will be nice as well. But I don't know if it will be balanced. I'm really not sure. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching. Tell me what you think about the Ottoman civilization in the comments down below. For me, they are very close to S tier. They need to be a little bit nerfed, perhaps. And I'm having a lot of fun playing them, and I hope you too. I hope to see you on the next video and on my Twitch chat as well. This is Danny Cloud Surfer, surfing out.